Hello with your CIG TV News Brief, Community News and Weather Forecasts. I'm Donna Bush. On Friday, 400 plus persons from the financial services industry attended the first industry update meeting held in 2020 by the Ministry of Financial Services. Various talks took place and questions were asked throughout the morning event, including what does 2020 look like, what is coming up, building investor confidence, the economic substance bill, what's new and beneficial ownership, where this is going and why. This was a 2020 first quarter update provided to industry officials. Meantime, the RCIPS Security and Firearms Licensing Unit is reminding the public that the special firearms licenses issued to Green Iguana Colors registered with the 2018 to 2019 Green Iguana Cull Project have now expired. A press release from the RCIPS tells us that this means that Iguana Colors who held these licenses are no longer permitted to utilize air rifles in residential areas or within 40 miles of a public road. These special firearm licenses, which are issued in addition to the standard firearm licenses, will not be renewed until Colors have re-registered with the Department of Environment for the 2020 call. Now, police inspector and head of the Security and Firearms Licensing Unit, Gerald uh, Joseph, says the advisory is so that firearms license holders can review the conditions to ensure compliance with their licenses. Their firearms won't be seized and license won't be revoked. Meantime, dangerous activity is being reported in the area of Owen Roberts International Airport. The Civil Aviation Authority says there has been an increasing number of sightings of small unmanned aircraft or drones reported in the vicinity of the airport. Now, the general public is reminded that in the interest of aviation safety, it's prohibited and illegal to fly any form of unmanned aircraft within three nautical miles of Owen Roberts or Charles Kernel International Airports. This prohibited move is in place to protect arriving and departing aircraft during the critical stages of their flight when a collision with or the ingestion of a foreign object has a potential for very serious consequences, they say. Now, the public is being asked to report any drone activity within the vicinity of the airport by calling 244-5835. That's 244-5835. Now for a check on other community stories making Radio Cayman headlines this Monday. The UK is set to leave the EU on January 31st and recently the Truman Bodden Law School gave a special lecture to better educate current law students on the subject. Laura Panetta's a Master of Law and International Finance course leader discussed the possible impact and concerns of Brexit. Part of the lecture was exploring the potential consequences Cayman and all British overseas territories face once Brexit takes effect. Law school officials say they don't really know where this is going. So far uh, for this year, they can't incorporate any changes. They added that what we're going to see is our law school adapting to the new legal developments. And you can check out the Radio Cayman website, radiocayman.gov.ky, for more on this story and other community headlines. Turning now to today's weather forecast from the Cayman Islands National Weather Service. Fresh easterly winds and rough seas will continue for the next 24 hours as a high pressure system moves over the western Atlantic Ocean with a tight pressure gradient across the northwest Caribbean. The high temperature reached 85 degrees Fahrenheit on month this Monday. The forecast calls for partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of afternoon showers. Winds are easterly 15 to 20 knots with higher gusts. Seas will be rough with wave heights of 6 to 8 feet. A small craft warning is in effect. Remember, you can go online to weather.gov.ky for the latest forecast from the National Weather Service. They also have a Facebook page and you can also listen to them on the weather radio dial 107.9 FM. Remember, they also have an app, CINWS, so you can check it out. And that's the latest from us here at CIG Television. If you missed today's news brief or uh, you want to check it out, you can check it out on the Facebook page or our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush. As always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a safe and, of course, a wonderful night and inviting you back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now. Fishing and water sports in the Cayman Islands are great, 
but keep a cool head. Here are seven tips for fun and safe sea outings. Number one, use a checklist to plan your outing. Check the weather forecast, make a float plan, and share it with someone who is remaining on land, stating where you're going, with whom, and when you're expected to return. Visit your nearest marine supply store to get your safety gear. This includes signaling mirrors, whistles, and a flare kit. It's also very important to have onboard flotation devices and life vests for each person. There are different types of vests. Some are for water sport activities such as snorkeling and others are for going on offshore boating or on fishing trips. Number two, these items can be lifesavers in case of an accident or bad weather. Number three, use a motor kill switch, especially if you're boating alone. In case of a leak or breakdown, always stay with the boat until help arrives. If you capsize, an emergency beacon or locator device can send a distress signal to inform the authorities of your location. Larger flares will indicate distress to a boat, airplane, or search and rescue officials. Number four, in addition to sunscreen, food, and beverages, it would be smart to have a cell phone. Make sure your marine radio works, Cayman boaters use channel 16 to communicate. Number five, also don't forget your anchor and sufficient rope. Number six, boat operators should be familiar with the local waters and reefs, as well as the capabilities and functions of the vessels they are using. Always obey the rules of the sea and the marine environment and have courtesy for others. Number seven, alcohol and salt water do not mix especially if you're the captain. Some useful contact numbers are 911. The RCIPS Marine Base is 649-7710 and the Port Authority is 949-2055. Smooth sailing all. Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIGTV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News Update first at 6 p.m. So this, you want to do it again? Yeah. From there. Then. And you. You make me smile. Yeah, um, I need a little more acoustic guitar. Doesn't Paul do the flute in there? <clears throat> yeah, Paul does flute. Uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, like a, I guess it says what it is. Um, it's like sending a car gift card out there going, hey, I'm free, I'm single, I'm free, come get me. <laughs> Just, something like that. <laughs> so I guess you were single when you were...
Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll go. <laughs> He's never seen <singing. laughs> <Hey. laughs> Someday I'm gonna find you. I wish you'd find a star. I don't know what you look like, but I know what you're like. You got an open invitation if you want me, an open reservation. Looking through my window. Grooving On is a positive song. Um, you might want to tell them how you feel about that one. Because it, it, it's just about, you know, if, if you have to make a change, there, there, there's more than one way to do it. But, but, but go ahead and do it. Ma ma make your change if, if you have to. That, that's basically what I get from the song Grooving On. There's a lot of way for grooving on. There are many ways to be strong. There's a life for me to share the way. The only way I know to live another day. To be classified in the precious sun. From me to you. To sit down, mother to doctor, yeah. Everyone on an ending note, I've just begun. Cause I'm hoping and dreaming to face a brand new day, and I'm longing, believing. There are many ways to open our mind. Times we show we can find a sense of direction from the truth we share. Clear away this dismal glare.
There's a lot of ways of proving on many things. Oh, yeah, they can go wrong. These times, well, these times, I do your mind, I care. So many ways to share the fear. Cause I'm hoping and dreaming to face a brand new day. And I'm longing. Believing that we can find our way. Oh, yes, I'm hoping and dreaming to face a brand new day. And I am longing, longing, believing that we can find our way. Ah! Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 yeah. Um. Hey! I'm Jody Ann Powery, I'm the police media officer with the RCIPS and I'm here to give you some crime prevention tips on how to best protect your property. The first thing that we want to discuss is our points of entries. Um, let's start with the front door and then we'll move on to the windows and the back doors or sliding glass doors. The first thing to consider is the front door. This particular front door has two deadbolt locks. One of these deadbolt locks are properly carpentered and the other is not. When your door is properly locked, you'll hear a click at the end and the deadbolts are not able to move. If it is slightly open, then you can push the deadbolt back without having any restrictions. I'll now proceed to show you what your lock should look like when it is properly locked. When it comes to your windows, you want to make sure that your window is locked all the way down because even though the lock is on, if it's not all the way down, it can still be pried. The proper way to lock the window is to make sure that the window goes all the way down to the seal and then you pull across the lock. When you have a sliding glass door at home, you want to make sure that you have secondary locking devices in addition to the lock that comes with the door. One of those can be a simple piece of wood that's jamming the doorway. We want to encourage you to ensure that you don't make things easy for burglars who are looking for opportunities to break into property by leaving your property out in plain view. Some of these items are your car keys, your electronics and your handbags. Make sure that you put these properties away when you're leaving the house or when you're going to bed. When you're going camping or if you're taking your family on a trip, you want to ensure that your property has some sign of life. This can be done by leaving a light on or putting timers on your lights. And we want to ensure that our family homes are safe. In order to do so, we encourage that people take the proper precautions by starting up neighborhood watches or encouraging family members or persons they trust to check on their properties while they're away. The Esterly Tibbetts Highway three-lane roundabout is ready for drivers. It's time to make sure you know how to use it. First, know which exit you need to take. Pay attention to lane arrows and signs. Make sure you use your signal to change lanes or exit the roundabout. To turn left, you always approach in the left-hand lane and indicate left. To drive straight ahead, you need to be looking out for signs and road markings indicating which lane to use. Get in one of the lanes marked with a straight-through arrow. If turning right, you must use the right-hand lane and indicate accordingly. To use the roundabout safely, remember these three tips. Know your exit, pick your lane, and signal to make your turn. Mm -hmm.